and welcome to Altcoin XP. My name is Anthony and today is part two of my MateSafe series. This part will discuss the complexity of creating a fully decentralized and secure network and how it is solved. MateSafe aims to decentralize the entire internet because it sees data stored on a single server as insecure. If you want to visit youtube.com, you are trusting YouTube to do good with your data, to protect it from hackers, not sell it to third parties and governments, or be persuaded to handing it over to anyone. However, our data doesn't just leave our computers and go directly to youtube.com. It passes through a bunch of servers and routers before it reaches its destination. You can see each of these hops by running a traceroute command on your computer. These are usually bridges, routers, and gateways. However, there is no guarantee that a hop isn't recording your data before it sends it out. Not all of these servers belong to youtube.com. Many of them belong to your ISP. Let's go to my dining table for a better look. Here's a simple explanation of the path your data takes once it leaves your computer. Your data travels from your computer to your router and your modem, and then to your internet service provider, and then to another internet service provider server, and another, and another, and then to a Google server, and then another Google server, and then another Google server until it finally reaches YouTube.com. Each of these hops need to be trusted to protect your data. MadeSafe solution only replaces these Google servers with something that looks like this. Your data follows the same path until it reaches a MadeSafe node, where it's split up and duplicated and distributed. For this demonstration, I'm splitting, duplicating, and distributing your data directly from your computer, but it may be done first when it hits the MadeSafe node. I'm sure which happens in practice. So data would be distributed something like this. It comes from your computer and then to your network gear and through your ISP, and then uh, pieces of your data are distributed like this. Let's say like six for an example, it would be split up between all these different made safe nodes. So one piece here, uh, two, two, and three, and four, five, and six. So it's distributed and duplicated between all of these nodes. When you access a website or service like YouTube on the safe network, you're also accessing it from this whole peer-to-peer -peer network of made safe nodes. The website is split up and duplicated across all of these nodes. But as you can see, made safe info still passes through your ISP, so you can still collect your encrypted made safe data. I don't really agree with someone saying, well, your data is encrypted, so there's nothing to worry about because if encryption was the answer, then why are we going through the trouble of creating made safe when we can simply require full end-to-end -end encryption? Also, I wonder if ISPs can run their own custom made safe network. Maybe it's possible for it to look like we're connecting to a made safe network on our end, but we're really connected to a custom malicious made safe network run by our ISPs and traffic never passes to the made safe network. So what I'm saying is data can leave your house and go to uh, Comcast and Comcast could be running all of these made safe nodes and never leave Comcast at all. Data would never be reaching this made safe network. The solution to the ISP problem is a mesh network. However, this adds even more complexity to the made safe vision of a fully distributed and decentralized internet. Let me explain. A true mesh network looks like the MadeSafe network, however, there is no ISP involved. When your data leaves your house, your data is distributed to multiple peers and duplicated directly from your house via custom wireless router to your neighboring houses. This uses wireless routers because existing landlines are owned and controlled by untrusted third parties, and the first hop in a landline will always be the same location. Meanwhile, wireless routers are able to connect to multiple devices at the same time, making them capable of distributing your data in a more untrusted way. So in this example from your house, uh, your data goes to your wireless router and then gets transferred to your neighboring houses. And then from those neighboring houses, it transfers to other neighboring houses. Here's my drawing of a small town on a mesh network. So one house on this block is connected to all these houses and then is distributed to all these other houses that they're connected to straight down the line. 
the data is passed on to a neighbor and their neighbor's neighbor and so on, creating a giant network that spans the world. All houses become nodes, but really anything with a wireless signal, some CPU and some storage can be a node, like cell phones, antenna towers, and uh, outer space satellites. Satellites are needed to cross distances like oceans that home routers and antenna towers cannot. And of course, these satellites and antenna towers need to be controlled by multiple third parties. So for this network to work with MadeSafe, all wireless devices need to run MadeSafe network software. MadeSafe would need to create its own wireless firmware to run on open consumer routers, or they need to sell their own routers with MadeSafe software pre-installed which is quite expensive to do. Additionally, it would need its firmware to run on cell phones, satellites, and antenna towers too. All of a sudden, MadeSafe's vision to create a fully distributed and decentralized internet is looking out of grasp to me. Well, that's the end of part two of my MadeSafe series. I'm not sure what my next part will be about, but I'll continue researching and see what I can come up with. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share this video. If you want to ensure more videos, please donate Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Dash to the addresses on screen and in the video description. If you prefer to donate US dollars, please support me via Patreon, uh, search for AltcoinXP, or find the link in the description. Lastly, follow me on Twitter at AltcoinXP and my subreddit r slash AltcoinXP. Thank you, and talk to you soon.